To start using Cloudberry Drive with Windows Azure, you must have a Microsoft account and have to be signed up for Windows Azure. You can sign up and get a 3 month trial on windowsazure.com. Click on Try It Free button, then once again click on Try It Free, and now you need to sign in to your Microsoft account. If you don't have it yet, click on the Sign Up Now here. After that, you will need to fill in the registration form. You will need to be prepared to give your contact information and get through the account verification. Enter your mobile phone number and use the verification code that you received in the text message or phone call to verify your account. But I already have my account, so I enter my email and password and click on the Sign In button. When you get into the Azure Control Panel for the first time, you will need to provide your credit card information, even if you want to use your 3-month free trial. Now select storage in the left menu. I already have one here. To create a new one, click on the New button at the bottom of the page, select Data Services, Storage, Quick Create, then specify name of your storage in the URL field and choose the location of the storage. After that, click on the Create Storage account. It will take some time to make your new storage active. After the status turned to online, you are ready to use it. I already have one here, so I will use it. And now we need to get the access keys. Click on the Manage Access Keys button at the bottom of the page. And here you can find your keys. To set up Windows Azure storage account in the Cloudberry Drive, you will need your storage account name and your primary access key. Now click on the Cloudberry Drive icon in the tray and select Options. Open Storage Accounts tab and click on the Add button. Select Azure Blob in the Storage Provider drop-down menu. You can change the display name if you want and then paste your storage account name in the Account field and your primary access key in the Shared key field. You can click on the Test Connection button and in case everything is fine you will get this message. Click OK and open Map to Drive tab. Click on the Add button. Select your Azure storage account, specify drive letter, volume label and path. I have only one container here selected and click OK. Click OK once again, select Yes and now I have an access to my Azure storage with Windows Explorer. You can download your 15-day trial version of Cloudberry Drive at cloudberrylab.com drive.